friends, Star Scorecard, it's the series, cheat code 5.3J. Again, the names don't mean anything. Watch the videos, mark them off. Let me know if you have any questions. So the TIC 5.3J is about division of a unit fraction by a whole number. So division of a fraction by a whole number, okay? Using pictorial models. This, again, can be kind of confusing. So this is similar to the multiplication of a fraction and a whole number using models. But here, check this out. This is nine divided by one third. So here's the dance. Um, nine over one divided by one third equals. How do you do division of a fraction? Here's the dance. Multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. What does that mean? you got to change it to a multiplication sign, and then you have to flip the second fraction. So that would equal 9 over 1 times 3 over 1 equals 27 over 1. Equals 27. 9 divided by 1 third, because look, 1, 2, 3. 3 per number. All the way to 9, you get 27, if you were to do that all the way up. So you multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. That is what we're doing. Anytime you have to divide a fraction, you better do the dance. You can, at your desk, at the star test. You can just rock out, guys. <laughs> Whatever it takes, you got it. You can do it. So we know our vocab. You better know your vocab. Unit fraction. A fraction where the numerator is 1, okay? Equal parts, where each part of the whole sequence, of the whole, is equal to each other. This is good. This is an equal part. This is bad. Look, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's not equal. That's, that's bad. That's, we, we're, not, we're not into that. That's like a series or a pattern or whatever. We want equal parts. So, Brianna, Brenna, has five candy bars to share. She wanted each person to have one-fourth of a candy bar. She said she needed to work on the following problem. So, five over one divided by one quarter equals five over one times four over one, 20 over one. Multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. Because you're flipping the second fraction. How many people could get one quarter of a candy bar if she has five bars? 20 people. Five times four. 20. Okay. Number two. I hope you guys are dancing at your, at your, at your YouTube station right now. <laughs> Mr. Taylor built a doghouse. He had a board that was 12 and one fourth feet long. He wanted to cut the board and cut it into four equal pieces. How long would each piece be? Well, let's look at it. We'll just turn it into two different problems. Twelve and one-fourth, okay? So twelve divided by three, uh, divided by four, because it's four equal pieces. Twelve divided by four is three. Three times four is twelve, remainder uh, zero. So... 3 is our solid, our whole number. We know that. Okay, now what is 1 fourth divided by uh, 4, right? So it's a whole number divided by 4 over 1 equals multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. So that equals 1 fourth times 1 fourth equals 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 4 is 16. Our answer is G, 3 and 1 16th. At first when I read it, I tried to make it way more complicated than it needed to be. Then I was like, oh yeah, just split it into two problems, 12 divided by 4 and 1 fourth divided by 4. That is the trick. Right here is the entire problem. Can you separate that in your head? Okay, which number line best represents... 3 divided by 1 third. So let's look at this. 3 over 1 divided by 1 third equals 
3 over 1 times 3 over 1 equals 9 over 1. Multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. That is how you divide a fraction. So we need 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Look, we have 3 divided by 1 third. Between 2 and 3, there's, look, 1, 2, 3. Three sections, so it's one third, two thirds, three thirds. Notice this is unequal, this is not equal parts. If you're dividing, you want equal parts. This, we're not getting to nine, we don't want nine because we're starting with three, so our answer cannot be bigger than three. So then C and A are wrong. This is the last problem of the video. Um, Number four, which expression is best represented by the shaded model? Okay, this is kind of, this is kind of crazy because they have a lot of different things going on. This is one. So if we're talking about a fraction bar, that whole thing is one. And look, if we divided it in the big chunks, how many chunks do we have? We have four chunks, right? One, two, three, four. So each chunk is one quarter, right? One quarter, one quarter, one quarter, one quarter. Now, with this one quarter, we're dividing the one quarter by three, because one, two, three. So one quarter divided by three over one equals, we know that, multiply and flip. Multiply and flip. So that's one quarter divided times one third equals one over 12. One quarter divided by three is one twelfth. And look, if you have three here, then you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12, 12, so it makes sense. Okay, <laughs> now we're done with this. Thanks guys so much, and we'll see you next time.